Assuming that you will build more than one wireframe layout, it's helpful to assemble a library of design elements represented in wireframe form so that you can reuse them from project to project. Remember, the goal in a wireframe layout is to show information hierarchy, organization, navigation, and flow without your reviewers and testers being distracted by typeface choices, colors, or other design elements. CC libraries are a great place to store all your wireframe elements for reuse. Choose CC libraries from the window menu to display the CC libraries panel if it isn't already on your screen. Now, I've already created a wireframing CC library for you to give you a head start. All you need to do is choose Import Library from the CC Libraries panel menu and select the InDesign wireframe.cclibs file. This will create a new CC library named InDesign wireframe that you can use as a starting point for your own wireframe library. Note that this library contains a couple of colors, paragraph and character styles, and a few icons and other page items. We'll be using these items from this library in later lessons. Blue is often used for wireframe elements, as I've done here, in an attempt to help people understand that designs using these elements are low-fidelity mockups. But this is just a personal preference. Let's create a button and add that to the InDesign wireframe library. So I'll create a text frame that's 120 pixels wide by 35 pixels high. Type button into the frame. And then make the frame blue by clicking the blue swatch in the InDesign wireframe library. Note that to apply items from a CC library to an object on the page, you have to click the icon, not the text next to the icon in the library. Whenever you apply an element from a CC library, it gets added to your document. So you can see the blue one color has been added to the swatches in this document. Next, apply the button text paragraph style. Then select the frame, right click and choose text frame options, and choose center for the vertical justification and then click OK. Now let's make an object style for this button so that the appearance of the button can easily be changed later. Choose Window, Styles, Object Styles to display your object style panel if you don't already have it on your screen. Then choose New Object Style, name the style Button, base the style on None, and click OK. Click on the style you just created to apply it to your button. Then, to add the button to the CC library, click the plus sign at the bottom of the panel and choose Graphic. Be sure to name the object to make it easier to identify later. Just double-click on the name and type Button. Even though object styles can't be saved into a CC library directly like character and paragraph styles, when you use this button in an InDesign file later, the color, the paragraph style, and the object style will all come along for the ride and appear in your document. As you begin to build your first wireframe designs, you'll want to save your common elements into a CC library for easy recall for use in future wireframing projects.